Hello and welcome back to Mirror Interpretation Todorova. Welcome back to this compilation called Funny Compilations. Uh, and in this video, once again, I'm going to share with you uh, the videos, the best videos, the best, the best comments that you guys write me. And you feel so proud to share with others. So I'm gonna give you some space here to have this uh, compilations, funny compilations for you. And once again, we have Miss Aloha Alohani. Um, I think um, you misunderstand uh, these funny compilations, and, and I see even more comments thinking uh, that I, just because I give attention, I'm gonna keep doing this. I have to tell you, I read some of them, some of them are funny, but in the end of the day, I remove you from my account, from my YouTube because we cannot put so much garbage under my videos. If you don't like it, simply move to the next channel, to the perfect channel, to the perfect person, to the perfection. I am not perfect, and my videos are not perfect, and my content, my accent is not perfect, my English is not perfect. Uh, but I'm truthful to what I share, so I don't want people to insult me. And Miss Alohani continue, continue with her comments, although they change a little bit, probably she felt the shame. Um, I like to let you know that none of those videos that I talk for medical, uh, interpreter certification sell any of those. I do not sell any medical certifications. None of those that I commented under are related to sales. I just share my opinions relating the process and the certifications and how useful I find it in my lifetime as an interpreter. Uh, but because Ms. Alohani wrote some accusation of me being dishonest and not truthful, I remove her from my channel. But this is Alohani number two. And we're going to read just Miss Alohani's um, statements here. Alohani Boido 8083 For people for whom English is not their first or strongest languages, classes in English can be helpful. For those with strong accent, they can look around for accent correction classes. Accent correction classes. Thank you, Miss Alohani. I suppose you have a strong accent and you want to share with us uh, the existence of accent correction classes. Um, never in 20 years of interpreting somebody complained about my accent in the US, UK, Italy, Barcelona. Um, I interpret in those countries and I have never had uh, anyone complain about my accent, so I am guessing you uh, talk about your strong accent. Um, and I hope that you do accent correction classes. Uh, I want you guys to know that having an accent is not a crime. It's not a crime, so you do not have to correct yourself. Correct yourself. Okay, and now Miss Alohani likes to talk about uh, candidates for uh, medical interpreting certifications. Uh, again, Alohani Boido 8083. Uh, for example, Bridging the Gap, BTG, certification does not require you to complete any hours. She put this under the Bridging the Gap. A uh, medical interpreting class called Bridging the Gap, it's a training that you just pay 
And you get credentials for it. It's one of the best you can find out there, in my opinion. Uh, and there is no requirements. You just have to study, take the class, and do the exam. Let's go with what Ms. Alohani has to say about this. Exam candidate must complete a 40 hours course from a list pre-approved course provider. What list is she talking about? I have no idea, but she's in her own bubble and we respect that. This is the required minimum. Said that depending on a person's academic and work background, there are some other things that a person can do which will improve their chances of passing the written exam and the oral exams if they are available in your language combinations. I would generally recommend taking some of the courses available at some community colleges, courses that are intended for nursing students and AMTS. Those include courses on medical vocabulary and anatomy. Those will help, also help make a person a better healthcare interpreter. So, Ms. Alohani believes that you guys are very rich and you want to take nursing classes to become medical interpreters. I find this silly and unnecessary. You should study medical vocabulary and you can do this using my platforms for bilingual medical interpreter trainings. Said that, uh, this is our last uh, Greetings with Miss Alohani. Adios, aloha, and thank you guys for being here. Bye bye.